Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video and today is a cast on party video. So today Tonya is hosting her cast on party um, and us in the UK or a few of us in the UK uh, that are friends have a pre-cast on party and that is what is happening at the moment. Uh, so if you can hear any talking in the background, I have turned it down but I don't know whether it will still come through. Uh, but there's a few of us on, uh, we have a pre-cast on party because Tonya is in America and her party doesn't start until 5pm our time. We take full advantage of cast on party days and cast on as soon as we can. <laughs> uh, so I'm just winding some yarn. This first one here, it's very messy. Um, I don't know what happened to my ball winder, but this is a woolly mummy yarn and I'm going to be making the souvenir shawl with this. Um, and I'm just winding some more yarn. Um, so I want to wind all my yarn now and get it ready uh, for the slip extravaganza. So I am uh, doing a really nice um, pale pink that was a one of a kind uh, from Mandy from Mouse Switch Yarns. And then I am gonna be using these two here. And these are two that I dyed up when I did the cakes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using this and this really nice pale pink. Um, so yeah, that's going to be what I'm going to wind up. And I need to wind two undyed skeins because they are going to be my main skeins. Um, and these are going to be my contrast. So I'll probably stripe the light pink and the dark pink and then have this as my pop of colour. That's what I'm thinking. I have also, um, I don't know if you remember, I got some yarn from, uh, oh, I got some James C. Brett and Chunky. Did I, did I? If you watch my vlog, I think I um, showed this. It's on my iPad, so I'm gonna have to print the pattern. Uh, but I have pulled back, I made a big granny square. So I have pulled that back. I've got two of these now, which are 400 gram all in all. I'm gonna weigh it and then make sure um, I write everything down in my book and my start weight and when I started the needles and just like a little project page in my book. Um, yeah, so that is the plan for today. I will come back um, and show you what I first cast on. There's different bits here, so what I'll do is I'll just talk to you about them once I start casting them, and casting them on. I'm really excited. I get really bad cast on anxiety um so even though i want to cast all these things on today i'm really nervous about it i don't know why it's it's silly really um but once they've cast on and once they've started i really do enjoy them and the way i'm going to work with these projects is i'm going to be rolling the dice and work on one a week with the exception of my muscle bra hat and my socks uh, they're going to be my sort of in between projects for the week uh, if I get bored on a project or um, a pick up and go type of thing so yeah but I've got one two three four five six seven one two three four five six I've got seven things minimum that I want to cast on today so it is currently uh, one o'clock it is currently one o'clock so let's see how many things we can get cast on this cast on party runs way into the night um so i will be still casting on and knitting later on this evening um ian's at the garage so i will need to take a break and pick him up um yeah so i'm really excited for today so Let's finish winding this yarn. I'm not going to film that, uh, but let's finish winding this yarn and then I will come back with the first thing that I cast on, which I haven't decided yet. So you'll be sur as surprised as I am. <laughs> so all of my yarn is wound and I've decided what project I'm going to cast on first. It is now uh, 23 minutes past two. Uh, I've been chatting and undecided what project I'm going to cast on and stuff and I have decided that it's going to be the souvenir shawl. So I knitted this for my mum um, for her birthday. So it looks like this. It is by Maria Samuel Samuelson. Um, all the patterns will be linked below. 
So this is going to be my first one. I am going to weigh my yarn. I'm going to write a project page and then I'm going to get started. So I need some um, stitch markers and stuff. So I'm going to get my little bag. Um, the table is just full of stuff. Like there's so much stuff. Um, and yeah, I just, <laughs> I just don't know where to start. And my cast on anxiety is going mad. But once I have started something, I'm sure I'll be fine. Uh, so, yeah, I have wrote a list of what I want to cast on, and there is eight things on there. Nine, eight or nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight on there at the, at the moment. New things may arise as we carry on, and other people go, oh, I'm starting this, I'm doing this, blah, 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 blah. So, we'll see. I've just printed all the patterns that I needed as well. Um, yeah, so the yarn I'm going to be using is this one by. Uh, Willy Mama, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to actually get a yarn cosy to go on this um, and pull from the middle, but it's really pretty and I think this will suit this shawl really well. Sorry about the light here. Oh, I'm not sorry that the sun is shining, but I'm sorry that it's blowing everything out, like if I come at, into the shade a bit. Um, so, right, I'm going to cast this on. I'm going to knit for an hour and see how we can we, we get on. So I have been knitting for an hour, um, I set a timer on my watch and I've been knitting for an hour for the, on this and this is how far I've got. It is really pretty. Um, I wasn't sure at first, I was a bit like, oh I don't know whether it's really me. Um, so obviously it will go this way round but it's going to be hard to show. Um, but I think the pink is going to pop and it will, will go with my hair, my hair does need doing, don't get me wrong. Um, but it will pop. So like this is my normal colour. <laughs> um, it's very multicoloured at the moment. Uh, yeah, it does It does need recolouring, but I'll probably do that before uh, I go away. But yeah, I'm so happy with how this is come, coming out. And I'm on a roll. I have cast on and now I can cast something else on, um, which I am thinking might be... I want something simple-ish, um, so, <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to have a look at my patterns, um, and see what I decide, um, so at least that's one thing ticked off the list, so let me tick that, uh, which is the souvenir shawl, um, so, I think possibly once the uh, cast on party gets started a bit later on there's going to be quite a few people on so there's there's not going to be as much time to chat like individually like there is at the moment so I can just get on and, and cast bits and pieces on but I'm going to go and make a drink so I use my project pages and I've decided to use my project pages um, as like my notes and everything so I'm just putting down what I need to do and stuff so um, I probably won't do put anything on this side I will just flip it over or if I do I can just add a little scrap in there and tape it in and stuff so that's what I've I've decided to do um, I might cast on a dishcloth because then that way it's something little it's something that I can get started on um, I'm unsure, but I'm going to go and look at my pattern patterns now and decide. But first of all, I'm going to go and get a drink and just carry on enjoying casting on. So I've decided that the next pro project I'm going to start is the Meadow Lace Shrug. And this is what I bought uh, Flack Yarn for. It is by Sel Selwia. Oh, I can't say that name. But this one here, I will leave it linked below. Um, it's a crochet project, and um, I'm going to be using yarn that I got from Home Bargains. It's just acrylic in black, and I think it would look stunning. Um, I've decided to pull out my light up crochet hook for this. Um, it's dead at the moment, but I won't need the light at the moment. I will need the light probably if I do this of an evening or it's a bit darker and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this now and then once the hour is up, um, I'm going to put this down and then put this on charge. So yeah, that is the plan. Um, 
Our pre-party has now finished. Uh, we've got about an hour until the cast-on party starts. And then, yeah, carry on casting on uh, stuff. But I thought I would do this now because I need a little bit of concentration. Um, <laughs> to start this I need concentration for everything but uh, I haven't done crochet for a while not that I don't know how to do crochet but I just thought that I would I would start this I've got other things to start as well so that is the plan I'm gonna go and sit on the sofa and uh, yeah just cast this on I'm gonna wait for my iPad to charge and I might do the party over there like the the actual party over there I don't know yeah I've, I'm undecided so I'm hoping I have got two of these hooks so I did get one from my sister when she was crocheting uh, I think Ian bought her a set because uh, she was like oh that's a really good idea but then when she stopped crocheting obviously um, she gave me all of her stuff and I've got this I have got normal crochet hooks somewhere where that somewhere is I don't really know at the moment they're in a little bag and I for the life of me don't know what I've done with that little bag it's around somewhere but I don't know this will this will do for now um, so yeah I'm using a three and a half mil hook that's what the pattern asks for um, so I'm just gonna get started so it's just little and over over an hour later and I've been working on this uh, crochet shrug is it called a shrug? I can't remember now <laughs> Uh, yeah, the meadow lace shrug. Um, I had to pull it back once because the numbers wouldn't work out at the end. But I have got this far, <laughs> which is not a lot. Um, I don't know whether it's going to be big enough. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, uh, my, my edge is quite tight. So my friend Sarah's made this before and that's where I got the idea from. So I'm going to ask her if... Um, it works out so it's knitted uh, not knitted it's crocheted uh, from one side to the other and then it's folded over and then um, basically like a cocoon cardigan uh, I'll try and get this straight so that will n not be the cuff but that will be one end um, and then it will go across to the other end it does say in the pattern that it's for a small to large. Um, obviously, I am not as big as I used to be. I can probably fit into a sort of, I don't know, a large, extra large. Um, I could probably, in terms of number wise, that's probably about an 18 to 20. So I'm hoping it will be okay and we'll see how it goes. And I think the longer or the wider I make it, the more comfortable it will be. Um, so if you look at this picture here, which is the main picture, here to here is going to be the main length. Um, and if I hold that up, it's going to be long enough. Do you know what I mean? And I know that this has to stretch open a bit it looks like a face at the moment. Um, so it has to stretch a little bit. So I'm hoping it's going to be fine. But I'm going to ask her, uh, my friend Sarah, in a second. Because we're going to be zooming again. Um, but I just thought I'd come on and show you that. So that's that project. I need to write a project page because I forgot to do that. Um, but I'm going to go back over to uh, the, the table over there. And pick a project bag for this to go in. And then, oh I need to put this on charge as well, don't I? So I can do that. What did I do with the wire? Um... I don't know what I did with the wire, unless it's over there. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to pick my next project, which uh, might be a dishcloth. I don't know, I keep saying dishcloth, don't I? And then I don't pick the dishcloth. What else have I got on my list? I don't know, I might actually have a look at the uh, chunky top that I was looking at. So I'll show you that in a second. So, party has commenced and I've decided to cast on uh, a crop top from the Simply Knitting magazine. Um, I don't know what issue it is. It doesn't actually say. Uh, but it's a Simply Knitting magazine. It's quite old. I'll show you a picture of 
the top that I'm going to do. It's this one here, and I'm going to do it in this James C. Brett yarn. Um, and I thought it would look quite nice with summer dresses and that, so for the evenings or whatever. Um, I can't really show you any more of the page because it's uh, obviously a paid for pattern in a magazine, but I've got my needles ready, but I'm missing um, a 6.5 mil. I probably have got a 6.5 mil in a straight needle, but I have not used straight needles for I don't know how long. Um, so it asks for a 6.5 and a 6 mil and a 5 mil. And basically just the ribbon around the bottom is done in a 6.5. So I'm probably just going to do it in the 6 mil. Um, I don't think it's going to make much difference. Like half a mil is not a lot. Um, I think it's asking for the bigger needle because it's a like a bubbly stitch. Um, so it's like this stitch here. Um, so I don't know whether it's asking for a bigger needle to make that easier or not. We will see. So I'm going to make a drink um, and then I'm going to set my timer for an hour and uh, carry on with that. I really enjoyed the shrug but it just takes a lot of brain space. I think I need to sit down and just knit it without any distraction. Um, so I had the telly on but I weren't really paying attention to it and there is no way I could do that with zoom on and stuff. So the but, um, I have spoken to Sarah and Sarah said that the length, my length is longer than her length so that's good um, and plus it does get easier the further you go because you can see where you need to be and stuff. Um, it does look very good and there is a chart and I might follow the chart instead of the written instructions. Um, I'm okay with crochet charts and I, I think seeing it visually will probably be easier for me. Um, so I'm going to cast this on, do that for an hour or until Ian's ready to be picked up from the garage. He will need picking up at some point and then we're going to have some dinner and then we are, um, then I will come back, carry on the cast on party. Um, yeah, but that's what normally happens is we, we stop, we have some dinner. Ian's at work tonight, so uh, he will go to work. I don't know what time, any time between 10 and 12. Um, and yeah, I will carry on casting on until my eyes are dropping or Ian's back from work. <laughs> um, whatever is whatever happens sooner uh, but it's just really nice and I have closed the curtains but the sun is still shining a bit as you can see so I might keep them closed for a bit longer um, but the windows are open it's just all really nice and I'm just enjoying it so I'm going to carry on enjoying it um, and see how many more things I can cast on I've only done two so far so let's get this third one on the way so I have been knitting on this crop top thing um, and I have measured it and it's got eight inches of positive ease which um, I don't think I really want um, and I'm really not enjoying it. I've pulled the needle out now but this is what it was looking like. I'm really not enjoying it. Um, it's really, really tough on my hands. Uh, I don't know whether that's because it is uh, chunky or whether the stitch, so the stitch is you've got to knit front back front and then purl three together to make this bubble stitch and it is just too, too much for my hands I think. I'm really struggling to get the needles in. Um, so I'm going to scrap this, I've been knitting on it for an hour. <laughs> As you can tell I haven't got much but this is the lower body. Um, and look how much I, it'll probably cinch in a little bit once I've done a bit more but not much like um, 28 inches this is going to be so it's going to be uh, 60 64 is that right 8 and 8 is 16 no so it's going to be 40, 52 oh, whatever anyway so it's 28 inches this um, I'm really not enjoying it so I'm going to pull this back and I'm going to scrap this for now I might go back to it at some point in a smaller size um, but I'm just not I'm not feeling it and I'm doing it in the smaller needle as well which probably doesn't help um, but 
I haven't got a 6.5 millimeter needle so uh, yeah I'm just gonna pull this back I'm really not enjoying it um, I really like the finished object um, I might I might modify it so what I might do is just do like a rib instead because I think that would be quite nice and just do a boxy type top um, I think that might be better uh, I'll have to work out like my stitches and stuff and, and go from there but this is just far too big and I don't want to knit something that I'm not going to wear uh, so that is the plan I'm going to just wind this yarn back up um, so this was the um, James C. Brett Marble Chunky it's a really lovely yarn um, so I will think of something to do with this and I will try and get something soon to do it um because i just yeah I, I i want this yarn into something um i've got two balls of it so that's 400 grams i'm sure they're 200 grams each um yeah so that is a fail because it doesn't fit it's going to be miles too big and the next size down is like it's quite a big jump um so, and I feel like I'm, my cold is getting worse and worse, but yeah, anyway, that is that. Um, I am going to now go on to, um, I don't know, do I want something a bit simpler? Um, I don't know what I'm going to go on to right now, but I will let you know when I know. So I have been working on the sea glass tea. It doesn't look like a sea glass tea. It just looks like a little bit of rib. So I have decided to use the grey. This grey is going so far. Um, I've done my Alpine Bloom, my Radvent, and now um, this. So I thought I would just do the grey for the cuffs and then do the rest of it in the four ply uh, cake, uh, not cakes, the, the magic knot balls that I've got. So that is cast on, ready to go. Um, I've cut the the yarn off. Um, so yeah, I um, got that done. Um, I was going to start the slip extravaganza until Mandy said, "You do realise there's 149 I called stitches to cast on," and I was like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know whether that one will be cast on tonight. I might even try and cast it on tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to wait and see. It is uh, nearly twenty to nine. Uh, we've just ordered some dinner. Ian's now home. We've just ordered some dinner. Um, so we're gonna wait for that to arrive, and then, um, yeah, I will decide what I'm gonna cast on next, which probably will be um the rocket tea because I want to start if I've got enough needles because I always find that I'm running out of, of needles <laughs> when I do a cast on party I've got something in the bottom of my hair and I think it's food from this morning <laughs> I know that's a bit gross but it fell on me this morning I didn't realize um anyway <laughs> getting sidetracked um yeah, I want to cast on a rocket tee with the Wiku yarns, the purple and or the, the turquoise and purple yarn uh, that I pulled back from my my V back tee, and I might possibly do the eyelets down the side. Um, not not decided yet, but um, I've just pulled this bag out for my sea glass. It is a nice summer bag, but I'm running out of bigger bags. Um, to use but it doesn't matter it's not a problem um, and then I've got left to cast on I've got the slip extravaganza the Notting Hill tea um, and the rocket tea so that's three and a dishcloth so that's four more that I was planning on casting on today um, things have just taken longer than I thought they was going to so a dishcloth's not going to take me that long to cast on even if I do a few rows um, and the rocket tee shouldn't take me that long either um, but I, I want to get enough stitches on the needle so I know where my eyelets are so it's at the very beginning it's a little bit um, not difficult but a bit fiddly with the stitch markers and stuff um, 
And then the Notting Hill tee, I haven't even looked at that pattern, so I don't even know, but I have got the yarn picked for it, and I'm sure I picked the yarn when I was casting. I had my little cast-on day on the 1st of February, and I just didn't cast it on in the end, so... Yeah, I... That's another thing that I want to cast on. So, that's that. Um, yeah, I am going to pick up the rocket tee. Um, or not pick it up, I'm going to cast it on. And, yeah, that's going to be the next thing. Well, it is much later on. It is now half past 11. Um, there's still quite a few people on Zoom. And um, I have cast on... Uh, my fourth project, which is, I haven't got the pattern to hand, but it is a dishcloth by the Kitchen Sink Shop, um, and it's the December dishcloth from last year. So, in December, I decided to sign up to their dishcloth email. Um, so, every month you get a pattern and a recipe, and I thought I would start from when I started. Um, I am using this yarn here, which is the creme sole wool, it's recycled. It is cotton, 70% uh, cotton and 30% polyamide. So I don't know whether it's good for dishcloths or not, but it's cotton. Um, I thought I would give it a go. Um, Ian's now gone to work and this is how far I have got. Let me just... Oops. This is how far I've got. So I'm really pleased with how this is coming out so far. Um, it's really nice. The only thing is the, the yarn is a bit splitty. Um, but I think cotton is like that anyway. Uh, so yeah, this is how far I got. I'm, I'm pretty pleased. Um, I only did it for a little while and I thought as long as I can get it started, that will be fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, once I finish this one just carry on to the next one and then on to the next one until I've used up I think I've got five yeah five balls of cotton so I've got five months worth um I so I've got December January February March and April um they'll probably take a few weeks maybe a, f a couple of months to make um I'm not sure so yeah I am um, and even if I suppose even if I pull this out because um I'm gonna do a dice roll uh, and roll the dice for my pro my projects once I've cast them all on um, and yeah so and I don't know if you can tell but over the day I my cold has got worse and worse I feel really bunged up at the moment I feel really nasally um, it's a little bit ooh, so and I, I keep blowing my nose uh, so yeah that is how I'm feeling at the moment. That was cast on number four. Cast on number five is going to be a rocket tee. I'm going to cast this on and um, yeah, this is going to be in the Wiku yarns. Um, I can't remember the name of this yarn. Um, I can't remember. No, I can't, uh, it, it was yarn that I, sorry if you can hear my stomach, um, it was yarn that I got from Wolfram Abbey Wool Show a few years ago, I knitted a V-back tee in this and I wore it a couple of times then decided that it was too big, I didn't want it, pulled it back, I started knitting, as you can see I've uh, rewound this cake um, and I started knitting a another v-back tee in a smaller size but then I've decided that I don't really want another v-back tee um, so I'm going to start the rocket tee I am going to um, maybe helical knit it I'm not sure yet uh, so the, the first bit is done in um, backwards and forwards so we'll just I don't know I might knit two rows in one colour in one of the yarns and then two rows in the other and then once I get to round and round I can then helical knit um, or once I've split for sleeves or whatever I, I decide. Um, now this this top is knitted with mohair um, but I have knitted two of the two. 
yeah, so I've got two of these um, that I've knitted myself. Um, and I didn't use uh, mohair, I just used uh, four ply, so that turned out quite well. Anyway, I'm going to circle my size and I've wrote my project page. Um, I don't do Ravelry or anything, so I'm just going to do it in my little book. So this is how I have done my project page. Uh, so yeah, and I've done it for all of them. And then I'm going to use it as a, like, writing my notes down and stuff. So I will have this with me majority of the time. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty pleased with the progress that I've got so far. It's 22, uh, with nearly 22.12 now. I think I can go for a little bit longer, we'll see. Um, and then, yeah, so... Um, after casting this on, I have um, two more that I wanted to cast on, and that would be my slip extravaganza, which I need a massive eye cord for that I didn't realise. <sniffs> Excuse me, and uh, my Notting Hill top that I haven't cast on again. <laughs> um, I do really like it. I do really want it. I like the yarns that I've picked out. I just I don't know. I'm still, every time I'm picking up something new to cast on, I'm getting that little bit of anxiety with it. Um, but once I've actually just casted on the number of stitches that I need, I'm fine. It's just the getting it ready. So I will be fine. Everything will be okay. Um, yeah, so let's get to casting on this top. So it's much, much, much later on now. It is dead on uh 12 minutes past two in the morning zoom is still going on and i have cast on another project which um it, i have done the i called for my slip extravaganza so it is a stephen west pattern i haven't printed the pattern like i said everything will be linked down below i am super duper tired i have cast on six projects one two three four five I've cast on six projects today and I am uh, not about to because I'm probably going to cast this on tomorrow but I'm going to do the Notting Hill um, that I didn't do last time in these two colours. Um, I'm going to cast that on tomorrow. It's far too late now. Um, I'm tired. I want to get into bed and I can get up in the morning and do that. So that is what I've cast on today uh, yeah like I said everything will be linked down below and I will be in my weekly vlogs rolling the dice and deciding what I'm going to work on each week I will be knitting on socks and my muscle bra um, throughout the week as well when I've just when I want something a little bit different or I'm out and about and I just want a pick up and go project um so yeah that is what i am going to do for the next few weeks and see how i get on and how i feel and stuff so yeah my cold is well and truly there um i'm very bunged up i feel very i don't know just yeah a bit nasty so i'm gonna get ready and go to bed because I've really had enough now I'm tired um, I'm gonna clear up what I can here and then um, just sort it out for tomorrow all my projects are behind me on the floor so that's what I've cast on um, I have wrote a list so that I can uh, add that to my already whip pile which is not a lot uh, which is my Stephen West uh, MCAL and I think that is it and my, and my socks um, I think that is it to be honest so that's the only whip that I've got at the moment or oh, not anymore but from this morning and my socks and muscle bra so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you come along to the weekly vlogs and see what I get up to and what projects I'm going to be picking and stuff. So yeah, thank you so much and I shall see you soon. Bye.